Hi, my name is Felicia Geth. I am one of the district ed tech facilitators and I support schools that are in the north region of the district. Today I'm going to share with you the different question options that you have available to you when creating a Google form. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to locate our Google app. So we will go to our handy dandy waffle, click on it, find our icon for Google Forms. We will click there. And so uh, we are going to go to our familiar plus sign so that we can create a new form. I will give my form a title, which I will title practice. And so the next thing that I will do is I will come down to the first question type. So let's say that we were creating a form that we wanted to send out to our students to respond to. One of the first things that we would want as a question is for them to fill in their name. Um, and I guess it just depends on your class, but I would also make a note that I want them to include their first and last name. And so because this is something that they would have to type in because everyone's response will be different, this would be considered a short answer question. I'm going to go to the plus sign so that I can add another question. Let's say that this time I want to ask them their homeroom teacher. And so for the homeroom teacher, I can choose multiple choice because that way they will have more, they will be able to select from a group, but they would only choose one answer. So I can say Miss uh, Haney. Dr. Haney. Uh, I can add Miss. Davenport, Miss Smith, Miss Washington, or um, I'll add one more. Make sure that I'm right and typing it in correctly. I don't want to put that. and Mr. White. So now I've created a multiple choices child will select which teacher is their homeroom teacher. So now I want to add another question. And so this time I'm going to ask the question where I want them to select I say, what is your favorite after school? Activity. And so for this one, I am going to, I could do short answer. I could do a paragraph for them to write in complete sentences about that. But what I want to do is I'm going to do check boxes. And so that way, meaning that the student can choose more than one uh, after school activity. Say playing basketball. Playing on your gaming system which I can put Xbox PlayStation as examples for them. 
Um, the next thing option that I can put is I can say reading. Um, I or watching TV. And so then that way the child would have the option to choose more than one of these things if they don't have an actual favorite, but they enjoy doing multiple different things. So next we are, we will add, um, or uh, to save time, we're not going to add any more questions, but I will go through uh, the other options that we have available. So again, like I said, a paragraph question, uh, an answer that would be put in paragraph form would be an answer that would be uh, that a student would have to describe something and it would be uh, multiple sentences that they would need to use in order to complete the question. We talked about multiple choice and checkbox. Um, like I said, this is an example of drop down where you give multiple answers. Usually that is something that you would see when um, you have more than, let's say, five or six uh, answer choices to choose from. For example, the the survey that we'll that we send out and we ask you to select your school site. That is an example of a drop down because we have so many schools that we have to identify in order for the participant to select the correct school. Um, you can upload a file uh, into a Google Doc. And so you could just say that this file, go to uh, go to this file, let's say that you used a Google Doc or you use a Google Slide, that you can put that into the Google Form as well. A linear response is like a scale, so you would choose between one to five uh, as your answers and you would determine uh, if one was good or if five was good. Uh, you also have the choice of the multiple choice grid, which means that there are multiple rows that you have answers that you have to select from. Uh, the checkbox grid is very similar. There are multiple rows and you might be able to choose more than one answer. Uh, on each row with the checkbox grid. For the multiple choice grid, you would only be able to choose one correct answer for each row. For the checkbox, you can check more than one on each row. You can also put the date and you can uh, add the time for that particular student to um, submit that particular uh, uh, to submit the whole form. So now that I have completed my questions. I'm going to go up to the top to the eyeball so that I can preview my form to make sure that it looks like I want it to look. So I have my short answer first. I have my multiple choice second. I have my, um, and I want you to see that if I choose Dr. Haney, then it's going to, if I choose like, no, it's Ms. Smith, it's going to erase my answer for Dr. Haney. But on here for after school, uh, activities with the checkbox, I can select more than one answer. And so I can also come down here, and this is just an example of the linear um, question where I would say, okay, I feel like this was a four uh, presentation. So, and then at the very end, you have your submit. So those are the different types of questions that you can use when creating a Google Form.